All right, and I'm back, and today we're gonna to take a look at the last of the deluxe off the first wave, and this is Hardhead. Um, so, uh, he's a tank, he rolls, that works pretty well. Uh, this canopy opens up, here's the uh, Headmaster. So that's pretty cool, he's got the, he's got that little bit right there. So, there's that. He's got the gun here that plugs into the top of the other gun. Um, I haven't found another place to plug it in at, so it's either top of the gun or nowhere. Um, so we'll set that off the side. It's just one piece. Looks pretty good. Looks like Hardhead's gun. Um, here's the Titan Master. Um, head's on a ball joint. Shoulders are on ball joints. Legs swivel. Knees swivel. Face on the back. I don't think I've gone over a posability on all of them, but who cares? It's all the same thing. Uh, and then you take the this back gun here, and this is his little action or his target or headmaster gimmick. Fold this back, and this will double hinge down, like so. And then there you got another seat. So you take take him here, and you could just plug into the seat. That. Although if you, if you work at it, you can get it plugged in a little bit more securely. I just kind of have resting in there. But yeah, looks good. Uh, so pulling that back down. So it's, it's it's cool because this is one of those ones, you know, unlike Scourge, Scourge, who's got the big hollow gun sitting there. Um, this one's got something that closes up and you can't tell. Um, this whole assembly, it's this is just plugged in. Just a five millimeter port, so you can take it out. But this whole assembly here, oh, it slides too. Why, Why does it do that? Uh, so there's a hinge here and a hinge here, and then you can use the five millimeter port for a swivel, so that looks good. Um, it's got rolling wheels here, here, and here, which is, is kind of funny because if I remember correctly, the Toy World one had a bunch of... Um, did I say hollow? I meant clear plastic. I, I'm pretty sure the Toy World one has clear plastic wheels like that too. So I, I think that's kind of funny. Um, all right, so pulling this up out of the way. And what you want to do here, pull this piece here up. That'll tab into place there. Awesome bit of transformation. I mean, it's just a little bit extra. It's, it's, they didn't have to do that. They went out all, they, they went all in on this figure, I think. Um, and then you pull the legs out. Um, they tab in here on this green peg. There we go. There, and then to the back part of the thigh. So it plugs in there. And then you want to accordingly leg down, and this will tab in like that. Flip the foot forward, just like that. Same thing over here. So tab down. Collapse, foot up, tabs in. Awesome. <laughs> I, I know it's it's not much, but it's just like they did just enough extra from a standard deluxe on the legs that made it just a little bit more interesting. Um, then you want to untab the arms. Um, there's this pin here. Well, it plugs into this peg there. So, just kind of tabs in, pretty nice. So pull that out, pull that out. You want to flip this down. This all goes all the way around, and tabs in. And then you take this assembly here, and this will this will fold down. And there's a little groove there that'll plug in there, like that. And then this tab here. We'll plug into that sl that hole right there, so this just hinges down, tabs in, and then you take this piece here and it rotates up, just like that, and I guess maybe we can pull it out a little bit further. I don't know. I, I kind of like it where it's at. I, I don't know what that swivel's for. Alright, and then the arms, you pull them down, and they just kind of fold down like that, and then you flip out the hands.
you go. Take the head here, the arms just slide back, and then you collapse that up. Kind of, I, I still wish they would have like a little bit of a better tab there. And then you take the, and there's the, uh, there's his head. Again, great head sculpt, perfect. Um, just tab that in. They nailed it. They nailed that head sculpt. And there you go. Now you could you could accordion it down so it's just sitting over his back like that. Uh, Poseability on him. Head is on the ball joint. So left, right, up, down. Uh, feels a little loose, but it's not it's not terrible at all. Um, shoulders are on ball joints, so you get the up, down, in, and out. There's a hinge here as well for transformation, so you can get it all the way up to there. Um, Swivel right above the elbow. He's got a double bend elbow. Uh, still only gets you that far. Forearm looks a little long, but it's not terrible. Um, wrist swivels, and it hinges in and out. Um, so yeah, that's that's good. Nothing at the waist. Hips are on ball joints. Good posability there. Thigh swivel. Bends at the knee, doesn't go forward, nothing at the foot. He can hold his gun just fine. Trying to angling those shoulders up to get those arms look. There we go. That looks a little bit more proportionate. And then because of transformation, you know, like I said, this could sit on the back or you can fold it up. And have it rest on his shoulder, you kind of have to put that back to where it was. So you can have it like that if you want. But I, I, I kind of prefer it down and then you can pull the arms up a little bit. Just to kind of, like I said, make him look a little bit more proportionate and just all around badassery because the big bulky shoulders just look better anyway. So, um, great paint detail across the, the whole figure. Um, I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Just awesome. Um, yeah. So, uh, size comparison. Here he is with Prime. A head shorter. Seeker. He is definitely a head taller. Not, not like three quarters of a head like the other three. He's definitely a head taller. And there he is with, uh, Legends car. Um, here he is with Blur. Yeah, you can see Blur is a little bit shorter than he is. Scourge. Skull Cruncher. All right. So, uh, all in all, um, he's my favorite one of the line, uh, hands down. Yeah, he's got a little bit more hollow bits um, than Blur does. Uh, Blur functions a little bit better. I just I like him better. Um, maybe it's colors. Maybe it's just I I, I always kind of like the toy, any toy of Hardhead. I've never read comics, so I don't really know much about Hardhead. Um, or Eddie was only in a few episodes, so I can't really have an attachment to any of the headmasters, truly. Um, but I always thought he was kind of cool looking. Um, and, but yeah, all around, uh, I think this guy is, is awesome. I think he, like I said, I think he's the best one out of the line. Um, opinions may vary on that, depending on who you talk to, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. Um, he's 10, 10, 7, 8, um, it's a, it's a great line. It really is. I'm, I've got, uh, I ordered the Legends, Legends set, uh, the Wheelie and the Eject. I've got the Leader Class with the Prime and the Blaster. And then I got, I also ordered the Voyager Class with Sentinel and Galvatron. So those should all be here in the next, by the time you're watching this, they should already be here. Um, so yeah, I, I'm very happy with these guys. 
very happy with the purchase. You know, sixty dollars for the whole lot. It, it was. It, I think that's money well spent for chug collectors. Um, and I recommend the whole wave. Uh, the scourge, like I said, only as a sweeps. Um, and hopefully your skull crunch will have better QC than mine. But these two are awesome. Um, some of the th these two have got some of the better engineering that Hasbro has put out in years. Um, these two are the best deluxes I've seen from Hasbro in years. Um, they top everything from Combiner Wars um, all the way back to Generations when it was just the Generations line. Um, uh, Rat Trap maybe was less really good engineered figure, I'd say. Um, Deluxe-wise, anyway. So, yeah, I, I think they're they're fun to transform. They're easy to transform, but they have a few extra twists and turns that you're not used to in deluxe-sized figures, like um, his legs sliding down. Um, the way, um, you know, the little extra bits on his transformation on the legs. It's like, yeah, we've seen that transformation before, but, you know, it's just... They took a little bit extra time on it this time. You know, he's actually got feet, unlike a lot of the Combiner Wars figures, which are just, like, stock-looking tubes. Um, so it's like, yeah, this this is night and day in comparison to Combiner Wars figures. These things top Combiner Wars 100 times over. Um, yeah, they're they're just great. Um, I, I like them. I still, I still stand on my... Um, what I, I would like to see a third party company come along and make just s regular heads for Scourge and Blur, at least for Scourge, Scourge, um, Blur, honestly, like I said in his review, I think his head looks pretty good as it is, uh, it's a little, you know, you can tell it's a headmaster from the side, but not from the front, um, he, his is the only one you can tell from the front that it's a headmaster, but... Anyways, I rambled on a lot uh, enough on these guys. I think they're great. I recommend them. I, I'm I'm definitely gonna buy another Scourge sweeps because um, I've got four generations and the Takara one. So with him, that puts me at five sweeps, and that doesn't sit well with me. I need I need even numbers of sweeps. It's just me though. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good line. I, I do recommend it. I, I had a lot of fun with these guys. Um, very pleasantly surprised.